Okay, so now you've built yourself a hot rod Harley. We need to make it handle well. As I said before, we've been working with some suspension engineers to develop a new fork spring to minimize the cost and maximize the results of actually getting a front end to handle like it should. So this is what we have. Uh, you can see this is quite a bit different than any spring you've ever seen before. Uh, it's actually two springs with different spring rates and a poly bushing in the middle. So this is going to greatly reduce the dive uh, that you experience under hard braking. Uh, it's going to slow your rebound down a little bit and you won't have as much of a pogo feel uh, when you're in the twisties and going back and forth through your off camber turns. So we're very excited about these things. Super easy to install. Uh, you don't have to make any modifications to the dampener tube. Um, and, and you can vary your fluid weight that you want to run in it. Uh, we run between a 15 and an 18, um, depending on the weight of the rider, motorcycle, riding style, that sort of thing. So, the new fork springs are in stock. Next, our new shocks. We're pretty excited about these two. These guys are half the weight of your stock. Um, and obviously you can tell they have an adjustable preload and also an adjustable rebound on them. Uh, these guys are incredibly responsive. They suck up the bumps really nice and uh, we're very excited to have these. Um, now, uh, for this week's tech tip, electronic throttle control. Um, most of you notice that when you compare it to a throttle cable bike, that when you, if you're on idle and you hit the throttle, or you're just trying to wick the throttle, that it's very slow to respond. The misconception is that all of that is due to tuning. Now, granted, tuning has a big effect on that, but it's also a mechanical limitation from within the throttle body. And uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of videos on the inside of a throttle body to help, you exp to help explain um, why exactly that hesitation is there. And if you like to constantly wick the throttle, what kind of problem that could cause for you. Here you see the inside of a stock fly-by-wire throttle body. The small brass gear between my fingers is connected to the actuator motor. The large gear in the middle is an idler gear and the large gear on the bottom is what's actually opening and closing the throttle plate. I'm holding it in this position to demonstrate what a part throttle and roll-on scenario looks like and you can see how smooth the operation is. Now we're looking at the inside of the same throttle body, but in an idle position. You'll notice how much I have to rotate the drive motor, uh, which is turning the idler gear, but yet you see no movement of the throttle plate. So when you're in an idle position and you reach up and snatch the throttle, or constantly blip the throttle, the hesitation that you're experiencing is largely due to this backlash and is not a tuning problem. That being said, if the bike is tuned correctly, do this enough and this can happen. Notice that two of the teeth on the gear that controls the throttle plate are broken. Repeatedly blipping the throttle from an idle position slams all of these gears together in an attempt to take up the backlash. So we recommend against uh, repeatedly blipping a throttle at idle to avoid this from happening. Of course, there is no replacement part for this. Your only option is to replace the entire throttle body, which can be a bit expensive. Okay, let's wrap it up. Um, as I said before, we have the fork springs and we have the shocks in stock. We're selling them as fast as we get them in. I wish I'd have ordered more in our, under our first run here because we're almost sold out already. But uh, if you want better braking, a firmer feel, a lot less dive, um, and uh, more confident feel in the twisties for your Harley, the springs are the way to go. Uh, firmer feel in the back end, obviously the fork, uh, excuse me, the uh, rear shocks are a big thumbs up. And um, hope that helps you understand a little bit on the uh, electronic throttle and the limitations um, that are there uh, that unfortunately as a builder or installer, we really don't have any control over at this point. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, one last thing uh, we're pretty excited about. Um, next week, uh, I'll be flying to Sydney, Australia to work with the guys at APL. And uh, we're also gonna spend some time with the guys at Raleigh's. Um, and APL is a fast up and coming shop and, uh, and parts distribution company. Uh, these guys are doing some incredible things with Harley's there. And uh, they've got uh, a lot of their dealers pulled together. And uh, I'll be going to Australia for a couple of weeks to uh, do some fuel injection tuning training. 
and uh, share some knowledge with these guys and, and get them up to speed on all the Daytona Twin Tech products. And, uh, and they're, they're doing a lot of work with turbos and pro chargers as well. So uh, uh, very much looking forward to working with those guys. Thanks to, uh, to uh, Adam and, and uh, his team there for having me down. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. So we'll uh, try to put up some videos and some pictures of what we're doing there for APL and, uh, and then the training classes that we're doing at Raleigh's. So um, may not have a video to put up for another couple of weeks, uh, but when we get back, we definitely will. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and I hope you have a great weekend. Ride safe.